Hey guys, so this is a training video on how to send pre-filled forms to contacts using high-level trigger links. This is an example of what I mean. So you've got a form and when the contact clicks on it, it comes all pre-filled. They don't have to enter in anything but the one that's missing. Now, the benefit of this is that it, number one, prevents duplicate contacts because if the client in this form here had decided to choose a different email address, it'll then create a new email or new contact for him, making duplicate contacts and making it confusing inside of high level. Number two, it makes it easy for the lead so they don't have to enter in anything but the one that's missing. So that's the first thing we're gonna go over. Next thing is how to use contact buttons. And these contact buttons can do the same exact thing where it pre-fills the information from the contact. So in this case, we're, we have all the information but we don't have their Facebook and their Instagram page. So number one, it shows the user the missing information. And number two, we can also even have a button over here that says send social media update. Now what this did right there is it just saved a tag to this contact that, um, let's find it, it just added this update social tag right here to the contact, which is going to make it send out an email. So here's our email, and this is what the link looks like. Now, because it's a trigger link that was sent out, which I'm gonna show you in just one sec, it doesn't have all of that extra stuff on it. It actually uses your URL here, your domain, and then adds just a nice little bit.ly type thing at the end there. So when the user clicks on it, number one, it logs it as clicked, which you can use to then fire off additional actions, mark them, as you know, like a hot prospect, things like that. And number two, it pre-fills the data right over here. So now the guy can fill this out like so. Like that. And I didn't have a thank you, so it's just gonna save, but there we go. So, um, all right, so it saved that information. Now, if we go back over here and let's take a look at, we're going to have to refresh here. All right, so just refreshed. Now, if we click that update social again, you'll see it's pre-filled with that guy's information. Also, if you go over to the additional info field, you'll see one of the things that is filled out here is his Facebook page like he just uh, did, like you just saw. So let's take a look at the trigger links. So actually, let's look at the form first. So we'll go to the form. All right, so here's the form. It's been pre-filled out and everything like that. So how do we create this nice big you know, URL like this? You could, let me teach you one thing on this. So if we go to the form itself, this is our quick editor extension, which we're going to get into a little bit more in this tutorial here. But um, one thing that's really cool about the quick editor extension is that it's white labeled to your brand. So you can give it to all of your users. And when they click on edit form or edit funnel, it'll open up in your white label. So here is the form that we've been dealing with here. Now, couple things that I want to show you here. So number one, this is called the query key. Now everything after, actually everything in this top thing is called the query. And if you see how it says first name right here equals Tom, this is the query key right there. So right there it says first name. Now you can change this, but of course you can leave it the same. Um, and most of these things have query keys. So in this case, it says Facebook page, and Instagram. If it doesn't have one, then you can fill it in there. Um, but there always is a query key, even if it doesn't say it here. If it doesn't have it, it'll be like a big string of numbers and stuff like that. And the good news is that inside, this is a new feature, by the way, inside of Quick Editor, we have a button that says create URL with contact. And what this does is it pre-fills the guy's information. So like it says first name, 
here, I'll just pull this up in a code editor, code editor so you can see what it looks like. All right, so let's take a look at this here. All right, so this once again is the query key. And this right here is the data that high level needs to put in the contact's first name. And high level or the customizer will read this and go, okay, we need to put in and merge the guy's first name as well as email and Facebook page, just like that. So once again, all you have to do is click this button here and Let's build a trigger link. I'm jumping around a little bit, going a little fast, but hopefully you're, you'll pause this or whatever if needed. So trigger links in the new menu are under email marketing. So you'll go to links here. And I already have one set up here called update social. Well, update social. But the way it would work is you would just go like this and just paste it. You don't have to do any fancy editing. You just literally just copy it straight from here and then paste it in here. And now it already has all the merge tags and everything like that to make a perfectly pre-filled trigger link like that. Then inside of your automation or inside of an email or anything like that, you can literally just drop in that trigger link. And this is the super simple automation that I've got set up here. And it's literally this right here. You just go to trigger links, update social media referral links, and save. And now that produces this pre-filled trigger link just like that. So once again, you don't need the quick editor to build this. You don't need the toolkit to do anything with this trigger link, but it does make it a little bit easier to build out like that. All right, next, let's take a look at this. Okay, so we covered preventing duplicate contacts, making it easy for leads, using these trigger links. Let's look at how the contact buttons work. So the contact buttons inside of the customizer are right here, or if you're doing it for a particular location, it would be right here. And so the global contact buttons right here, number one, what I'm doing here is I'm taking this same trigger link this merged trigger link that we created right here. And I am just pasting it right here. And that is telling the toolkit that this is where we want to put everything. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is, excuse me, I'm also doing another contact button and that is the send social media update. Now, all I'm doing with this one is I'm just simply adding a tag called update social um, archive and, and requiring confirmation. But literally all I'm doing is just adding a tag with this button. And if you remember, the way that we're triggering this uh, workflow is if this tag is added. And so inside of the high level instance that we've got going here, I've got two buttons. One is update social, and this would be for the internal user to just update the guy's social media page. And this one will simply add the tag, which then sends this email out like this. Now, this is a super, super simple uh, setup. I didn't, I, I really wanted to build out a, like a, a really nice, like good example of all the different things that you could do. But I think it's more important to just give you guys the idea of how to use all this stuff and uh, let your imagination go. And I'm happy to answer your questions and stuff and help you. If you guys have any questions, you know, just message me for ideas and things like that. All right. So lastly, let's take a look at the quick editor. So the quick editor, once again, is this button up here. And um, if you want to, so you click that create URL with contact and it comes up with that, all the merge fields and everything like that. If you want to test to see if this is actually even going to work, you can click link with values and it will do an example, pull it up like this, pre-fill it 
and you can be like, okay, it is going to work. Look, it, it does pre-fill all this contact data. So that's the way that works. And then the other thing I was going to show you is just how this thing works with some funnels and workflows and things like that. So let's just take one of these. Um, let's take one of these funnels. I find this personally super helpful because I never know which account, which funnel, which page inside the funnel to actually go to ed edit these th things. And I just want to be able to edit it quickly. So right here, I can tell immediately that we've got a survey on the page and a funnel, and I can even create a URL with the contact. So like, here's our survey. And if I wanted to pre-fill this survey, which I don't, but if I did, then um, like if I wanted to just pre-fill it with the guy's info right there, all I would have to do is hit um, create URL with contact. And now it's got all of the guy's information. Sorry, all of the merge fields already filled out right there. But the cool thing I was going to show you is you can literally just click edit funnel and it takes you straight to edit the funnel. Just like that. So that's Quick Editor. Um, if you're interested in Quick Editor, it's part of the Marketer's Toolkit. Um, it's in the agency and the full lifetime uh, levels. And let's see if there's anything else we, yeah, I think that's it. We have another cool update coming to Quick Editor here in the next couple of days. It's gonna give you even more information about the page when you pull it up. Um, everything that you might find helpful while you're editing and building this stuff up. Um, so keep tuned for that. And uh, once again, if you guys have any questions about the toolkit or high level, I'm always available. Uh, send me a message and I'll see if I can help you out.